welcome back or welcome to my channel so today i'm gonna be showing you guys how i do my ponytails with weave or with bundles i had got this video requested like a year and a half ago but for some reason i quit wearing ponytails and then i just never recorded the video so here it is yeah super cute super easy and you can do it with any kind of hair straight curly wavy whatever just make sure it blends with your natural hair though don't be wearing no straight bundles and your hair is wavy don't do that so yeah as always if you want to see how i achieve this look then keep on watching okay so i just rinsed my hair out um i washed it last night and then i put conditioner in it and then i detangled it and i slept in the conditioner and i just rinsed it out so I'm about to start doing the um ponytail process <laughs> Um, I wrap my hair in a t-shirt that's supposed to be good for your hair or whatever, I don't know, instead of using a towel. So, to moisturize my hair and like all that, like the products I put on it before I do the actual ponytail, I do the LOC method, which is what I do anytime I do anything with my natural hair or like my curly hair. LOC liquid oil cream. So the liquid, I just use water. My hair is already wet, I just finish rinsing it out. I probably spray it with some more water, but you know, whatever. So yeah, I just have my water bottle for that. For the oil, I'm gonna be using olive oil because this is what I normally use, this African healing oil I get from the beauty supply store. Um, this is what it looks like, smells super good. So yeah, this is what it looks like, smells really good, like citrusy. And yeah, I just really like this stuff. Let me read y'all what's in it. Soybean oil, almond oil, vitamin e olive oil palm oil sunflower oil and yeah and as you can see i'm almost out of this so i got the olive oil when i run out of this and then for my cream i'm going to be using the camille rose naturals almond j twisting butter so i'm using that hopefully i don't run out of this because i don't have much of this left so and then i'll be using gel as my final step to like slick everything down so i'm using the eco style in the um black castor and flaxseed oil so yeah i'm gonna be doing that in that order on each of these sections my hair is in 10 9 or 10 sections right now i'm gonna need a lot of gel well i need a lot of gel because my hair is super thick my curl pattern is super tight so only thing that keeps my hair laid down and like i can get it to like be lick is a whole bunch of gel so um yeah i'm using a lot of that yeah okay so i'm gonna be doing that in that order loc and then gel in that order okay i look crazy so i'm just gonna put the rest of my twists in a scrunchie because they're gonna be all in the way and i don't have time actually i think i'm gonna take two because this section is super small so i'm gonna do these first two together just to speed this up because i don't have all day this is why i'll do my hair now did y'all take too long um my hair's still pretty damp but i'm just gonna spray it a little bit liquid water just running my fingers through it my hair's already detangled um like i said i detangled it last night when i had my conditioner in and then i just left it in and rinsed it out this morning now i'm about to do oil oh by the way if y'all wonder why i'm wearing gloves it's not that like i'm grossed out by doing hair or whatever um i have two broken nails yeah i'm wearing gloves because yesterday when i was washing my hair my hair kept getting caught on my broken nail and ripping it and that hurts so yeah that's why i have on gloves to keep my hair from getting caught on my broken nail or nails because i have one broken on this finger finger i have one broken on this hand and one broken on this hand make sure you get all up in the roots and all on the ends with these products. And now cream. Ooh, I hope I don't run out of this because I don't have time for that. I be using a lot of product. And am I the only one that goes overboard with products in my natural hair? I don't think I be going overboard. It's just I have a lot of hair. I got a lot of, you know, area to cover. So I'm trying to make sure that I get everything. And now gel. I'm put a lot of this. I need this junk to lay down. And my hair don't be wanting to do that for some reason. This is my only method. Okay, so now I'm gonna twist it back up so it can be out of the way. And then we'll move on to the next section. And you're just gonna repeat this all over until your hair is slathered and all this stuff. Don't worry that it's like white and everything from the um, cream, the twisting butter. 
Um, when it dries, it's not gonna be that. I feel like I'm always wearing this t-shirt every time I'm getting ready on YouTube. Like I never wear this shirt any other time. And then as soon as I film, I'll be wearing the same shirt and y'all don't think I ain't got no clothes. But it's okay, I don't really care. So again, if you didn't catch it the first time, liquid water. Water is the best moisturizer for your hair, for your curls. Oil is what seals that in, because you know oil and water don't mix. So oil like seals in the water. And then your cream, your your cream moisturizer or whatever. Seals it all together. I be listening to my sister be telling me about natural hair stuff. She ain't natural hair and stuff. I don't really care about this junk. I hate doing my hair. Y'all can have it. Oil, next step. Gel. Twist it up. Ugh. I hate when water run down my face. Repeat. Next section. By the way, this is my routine for when I do like curly ponytails because obviously my hair will be curly so it will like blend together if i were to do a straight one i don't know how to do them because i don't know how to make my hair be like super sleek without using products to like lay my hair down that'll make my hair revert because i can't use gel because it's gonna revert back so i don't know how to make it lay down if i would do a straight ponytail with natural hair i have to blow dry it and straighten it but how's it gonna be all like sleek and stuff i don't know Okay, so this is half my head done, so I'm gonna come back when I finish this half because there's just no point in you sitting here watching me do this over and over. So I'll come back when this side is done. We're finished. Well, we're not finished, but we're finished. You know, moisturizing and all that. Putting all the products on, okay. Okay, here's the part that I hate. <laughs> now we're about to put it into the ponytail and brush it down and slick everything up. <sighs> I have to do a lot of brushing, a lot of playing with it to get my hair to lay down. As you can see, I already showed y'all, I slathered every section in gel and then I usually, I'm gonna put some more, like I just usually put some more everywhere like when i'm finished just for safe measures because my hair just don't like to lay down sometimes so we're gonna start brushing it up now so i use one of these nice and hard stiff bristle brushes because that is the only thing that's going to lay this junk down no soft bristles no none of that i need these hard stiff bristle brushes for my hair my curl pattern is so tight and my hair is so thick and this, I just need a little bit more muscle in my bristles. So, um, yeah, so now we're going to take loose all these sections. Let me go ahead and put my own um, thing on my wrist because when it's time, I need this thing to be ready because I don't have time for them to be messing up. All right. So we're going to take loose all the sections. I be holding my neck like this. I hate for my wet hair to touch my face. This has got product on it. Oof. Ooh, it's touching my neck. Okay. So I'm gonna take some more gel and just put it all on like the outsides and like up under here. Cause you know, I'm gonna be brushing it up. So I just wanna make sure I have enough gel everywhere. Now 
now we're gonna start brushing it up into the ponytail. Oh, also, if you wanna know what I wash my hair with, since I didn't show y'all washing my hair, I mean, I ain't feel the need to show y'all that. I mean, everybody know how to wash their hair. So um, I'm just gonna show y'all what I use to wash in condition. I use Clarifying Shampoo by Suave to shampoo my hair, and then I use the Aussie Moist Total Miracle Conditioner with apricot and Australian macadamia oil. Aussie Moist Conditioner, ain't nothing like it. So yeah, that's what I use to wash and condition my hair. Now, oh jeez. I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see me. I'll try and do my best, but I need to be bent down. So we're just gonna be brushing. You see that? You see that right there? This is what we want. I'm doing a high ponytail, by the way. Also, this is what I do. Ooh, I look stupid. This is what I do for all my ponytails. Um, it's just depends on the position. You can put your ponytail over here. You can put your ponytail over here. You can put it low, high. I'm doing a high one, so. I was asked to make this video like a year ago <laughs> when I was wearing ponytails and I was supposed to do it, but then I like stopped wearing ponytails. I don't even know why I stopped wearing them, so I just never filmed it, so. Here it is for whoever it was that asked me to film it. I don't even know now. Hopefully she'll still appreciate it. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's switch hands. Ooh, my neck hurt. Ooh, something just popped. That don't feel right. Okay. Maybe this won't take as long. This is kind of going pretty smoothly. Let me stop talking before I wear some wood at I'm not going wood before I jinx myself. Should I leave out some hair? Like two little strands, one on each side? No. No, I brushed all up in there now. No going back, these. All right, I hope this is enough. We're gonna try and get this. I'm gonna try and get this scrunchie on here now. <sighs> okay, let's do it. Is it centered? I don't even know if it's centered. All right, that didn't take as long as I thought. Um, I'm putting another scrunchie on here for extra snatch. All right, so I put another scrunchie on. So now I'm about to braid my hair into one big braid so we can wrap the bundles around. Alrighty, let's go. I'm also not very good at braiding. It's not that I'm not good at it, it's just, like it's not that I don't know how to braid, it's just I don't know how to hold my hands. Are these sections even? Ooh, that do not look good. I'm not about to redo it though. So here's our braid. Um, I'm gonna um, get my t-shirt and like absorb some of this product. I definitely have a lot on here. So now I'm gonna tie my hair down while I do the ponytail. My forehead is gonna be extra noticeable. So I'm gonna take my do-rag here. This is upsetting me. How about I just put another scrunchie right there and then we'll just act like it's not there. So this is what you should have. All right, so I'm gonna like put this up because I don't have my bundles to wrap to do the ponytail. I have to go get it. Okay, put it in a little bun thing right here because I'm gonna need to go to the beauty supply store to get my bundles. I didn't get my bundles beforehand because I knew if I left here, the beauty supply store is 30 minutes from my house. So I know if I left here and then got my bundles, I wasn't gonna wanna do this when I came back. So I went ahead and started on it. So I'm gonna go to the supply store and get my bundles. And then when I come back, I just have to finish it. I'm gonna let my camera charge and I'll show y'all what I got when I get back. I'm gonna change my shirt. Cause I got product all over my shirt and I look homeless. Yeah, okay, I'll be back. I'm back. So this is the hair I got. I got 
18, 20, 22 inches. Color natural, super wet and wavy. Obviously I won't be using this. So let's start with the longest bundle, 22 inch. I use bobby pins, so like I bobby pin it to my braid and then wrap it around. I know you can do that little method that everybody else do the, um, hold on, I don't like this angle. Um, I know you can do that method where you do that little wrap thing that you put that little, those little um, wrap strips around your braid and then you take hair glue and then glue this around the wrap strips. But I've always been afraid that the hair glue is gonna seep through the little thin behind strips and then get on my hair and then my hair gonna fall out and I have to cut all my hair off and be bald headed. And it's not what I want. I don't know, maybe one day I'll try it that way so I can just see for myself. But I'm gonna stick to this for now. I can't remember if I leave the bundle folded in half or what, I think I did. Yeah, and then I take a bobby pin and I put it between the halves. So it's like on here like this. See what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna pin this to my braid and start wrapping. So I'm just gonna start right here. Get a nice little thick area so it don't fall out. But um, yeah, then you just start wrapping around the braid. You want to make sure you're wrapping close enough um, together so that your braid does not show because that just defeats the whole purpose. So I'm going to go ahead and put another bobby pin here. Um, I just wrap a few times and then bobby pin. Wrap a few more times and bobby pin. You want to make sure your bobby pin is like embedded in your braid so it ain't like sticking out. Just keep wrapping. I usually use like some black barrettes so I can like clip it into the braid sometimes, but I can't find my black ones. All I see is my white ones, my pink ones, my blue ones. Okay, so now we're at the end. So we're gonna body pin again. All right, then you're gonna get the next bundle and start where you left off and keep wrapping. So I'm taking the next 22 inch. So then you're gonna take your bobby pin and put it through here. All right, now I'm gonna start wrapping. Okay, now we're at the end again, so you're gonna pin. Okay, now we're gonna get the next bundle. So that's the 20 inch. So I'm taking the next 20 inch bundle and then all we have is the two 18s left. Oh y'all, I got me some earrings at the beauty supply store too. I'm gonna show y'all, they're so cute. Here are my earrings that I got at the beauty supply store, y'all. Ooh, so cute. I got these heart-shaped ones, the little bamboo earrings, and then these, whatever shape that is. So cute, okay. I also got me some hair dye, cause I'm gonna do like a wig. Well, I'm not gonna tell y'all what it's gonna be yet, but <laughs> just see the video. And then I got some hair to do some butterfly locks. So I'll probably do a, uh, Cause I'm gonna do the butterfly locks myself. I'm not gonna pay nobody to do that. Um, it look pretty easy, so I'm gonna do it myself. So yeah, I'll probably record me doing that. So y'all should stay tuned for that video. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna pin this last 20 inch in here. Jesus, okay. So now I'm gonna take a section from underneath to wrap around the base so everything can blend all seamlessly. Then I'm gonna spray Jesus, move. I'm gonna spray some got to be free spray. Did I even get it on the hair? And start wrapping. And then pin it. Yeah, 
and boom. So I just put a scrunchie on it. This is how I like to wear my ponytails usually with a scrunchie or um, one that matches whatever I have on. I have a bunch of different color ones. So yeah, this is how I like to wear mine usually. And then you would just style your edges accordingly. Um, I'm not going nowhere and I really don't feel like doing that right now. So I'm probably not gonna do that. And I'm gonna tie this back down. When I do my ponytails, I tie my hair down overnight. Uh, yeah. Maybe I should do my edges because it's gonna bother me that I didn't do it and it's not gonna look cute. How about I tie my hair down and then I'll come back tomorrow when I do my makeup and everything because I'm gonna be filming. Um, I have a bunch of stuff to film. I got Shein hauls, AliExpress hauls that I ain't filmed yet because I had not done my hair. So yeah, I'll finish up this video tomorrow when I have my makeup done and close out the video. I might just done my makeup done. So you can see it all come together. All right, so it was the next day I did my makeup, my edges. So I can see the whole thing come together. So this is the finished look. Yeah, so that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, please. And thank you. Make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So make sure your post notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.